Hi, my name is Brian Kane, and I am a small business solutions advisor with the Connections team. The charter of the Connections team is to be a resource to small business owners and provide them information on all of the tremendous products and solutions that Microsoft offers. Today on Connections Replay, we are going to be focusing again on SharePoint, in particular Windows SharePoint services. In this edition, we'll pay even closer attention to the power of web parts, and essentially we're going to set up a site where we can run our business from. We're logged into our SharePoint site as the system administrator. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new site. Let's go to Site Actions and click Create Site. And we're going to create a site for our X1000 product launch team. In the previous version of Connections Replay, we created a basic team site. Now, let's go ahead and create a group board workspace. The primary differentiation between the two is the number of web parts that come pre-configured with each. And I'll show you just how many the group board workspace comes with. Then, let's create the site. Our site has now been created, and you can immediately see all the different web parts that are already given to us. We'll explore them in just a minute. But before we do, we need to add some people into our site. And we'll do so by going to Site Actions and then Site Settings. Then we'll click on People and Groups. And we're going to add in three individuals Dave Richards, who's the leader of the product launch team, Jesse, and Mike and we'll do so by entering in their aliases. I've entered in their aliases, and now I just have to auto-complete. Then I'm ready to click OK. Now, because I'm logged in as the system administrator, I can make changes to the parent site, Litware Inc. Let's go ahead and do so. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the page, and on the left-hand side, you'll see Organization. Let's click that. As soon as I do, the company org chart will be pulled up. Now, let's add a new organization to our company's organization chart. We're going to click on New, and we're going to title this organization the Product Launch Team. Then, we'll add Dave Richards as the leader, and then Jesse and Mike as members. And once I click Create, we're taken back to the company org chart, and you can see how we just created a new organization. Now, let's go back to our product launch site. And then, on the left-hand side, we're going to click on View All Site Content. And then, we're going to add in some resources. Let's say that your company has multiple conference rooms and other resources shared among different teams. SharePoint can help you organize them. Let's begin by adding in some new resources. We'll start off by adding in our conference rooms. And I'll repeat this process and add in a few more conference rooms. Now, I've gone in and I've added four conference rooms 
and a number of other resources that our launch team will be sharing with other teams such as marketing and sales. The next step is to organize these resources so they're more logical. Once again, let's click View All Site Content. And then I'm going to select Manage Resources. And I'll create two groups, one for the conference rooms and then one for the electronics. And I'm going to add in our four conference rooms. Next, let me tie it all together for you. Let's go back to the product launch team site and then click on the first web part, which is designed to help us manage schedule and reservations. We're going to create a new appointment. In this case, it's going to be our bi weekly team meeting. Once we enter in the name of the meeting, Instead of having to select each product launch team member individually, we can now just select the new organization we just created. And Dave, Jesse, and Mike are automatically added. Then, let's sort through our resources. For example, we can just select conference rooms, and in this case, we'll choose conference room beta. And then, we'll do the same thing but with electronics. Let's choose the Hewlett Packard 40 inch TV and then the JBL speakers as well. And we're going to make this a repeating event and we'll have it occur every other week. So we'll select weekly and then we'll choose for this to occur every two weeks. And then we click OK. Now, let's take a look at what happens when someone tries to book a resource we've already reserved. So we'll create a new appointment with a system admins. And we'll call this meeting the admin meeting. And let's say that they also want to use conference room beta. When they scroll down, and they hit check double booking they're gonna see that one or more of the resources is already reserved and they're not gonna be able to book this appointment until they change it so that there is no conflict so for example let's say that later on this afternoon will work for them as well now when they hit check there is no double bookings and they're able to create their appointment Next, I want to show you an additional layer of functionality, and that's the ability to connect to Outlook. We did this in the first part, but now I'd like to do it again and show you that you can manage multiple calendars. So within the Schedule and Reservation tools, we're going to click Actions, Connect to Outlook. And then you can see that earlier we have the Las Vegas field office, which is in green. We have that calendar but now we also have the product launch calendar which is in red. So once again, items in blue are on our Outlook calendar. Items in green were from the Las Vegas field office from an earlier episode. And then these items in red are from our X1000 product launch team site. The group board workspace that we're creating is all about communication and collaboration. So let's take it to the next level. We're going to go to Site Actions and then click Create. And we're going to create a subpage associated with this X1000 product launch team site. In this case, I want to create a wiki page library. And we'll call this the Product Launch Wiki. A wiki is a very organic collaborative tool in that users are able to edit the wiki site themselves. So if someone made a post and information has been updated, they can go in and make changes to that.
They can also link to a new page and create a lot of content. In business terms, this is great for brainstorming, collaborating on new ideas, instruction guides, gathering information from the field, and overall just bringing your team together. Let's go ahead and click edit and create our new wiki post. We just created our first post about the upcoming launch events. So for example, let's say we had some updated information. We could edit this post. For example, let's say that the event in Chicago will be at a Best Buy store. And once we click OK, that's saved. You can see the tremendous value of the wiki.